Today at At Home with Miss Joan, I'm going to show you the easiest chicken crock pot meal that you can make and your family is going to absolutely love it. Mine does. I've already talked to y'all many times about how I buy these big packs of chicken and then I cook it in my crock pot and I've got plenty ready for anything that I want to make. So last night about oh, 11 o'clock, I come in here and cooked one of these big packs here in this crock pot all night. That's all I have to do is pour water and salt on it. You see, there's me some good broth and got all this chicken ready for whatever I want to make. What we're going to make today is creamy crock pot chicken. First thing I'm going to do is show you this easy sauce that I make. You take an eight ounce pack of cream cheese and y'all that watch my shows know that I'm going to soften it in my microwave. It just makes it melt quicker. So this going into my sauce here is an eight ounce cream cheese. And then I'm going to add a pack of, oops, let me show it to you, Italian, it's the dry mix, Italian dressing and recipe mix. This is what you put into it. This one pack. This stuff's so good. It gives it such a wonderful flavor. This chicken dish is going to make the most wonderful gravy that you're going to want to put over some like mashed potatoes or rice or whatever that you like to put the chicken and gravy on. All right, and then it just calls for like a small can of cream of chicken soup. Now because I'm going to make something else today out of cream of chicken soup, I'm going to just do a half of this big can. So, so far we've only put eight ounces of cream cheese, a pack of this dry Italian mix, and then we're adding our cream of chicken soup, right? One other ingredient goes in what I call the sauce or the gravy, and that's a cup of your chicken broth. Right here, so that I have my chicken that I cooked overnight. I, I've got a cup of broth going in here. I wish you could smell this. <laughs> it smells so good. Let me get a little whisk. That'll make it go a little quicker. Now, what you can do is you can put your chicken in your crock pot, and you can put the glob of block of cream cheese on there. You can pour the pack of dry seasoning mix. You can put your can of cream and chicken soup your broth and everything over on top of your chicken. You don't have to mix it up in a bowl like this. I like to mix it up in a bowl. Because when you cook it in a crock pot, it's gonna go all in together anyway, but there is what I'm gonna pour on top of my chicken. Y'all see it? Oh, it's so good. All in the world it was, just four things. I'm gonna be putting my chicken over here in the crock pot. Now, if you don't have cooked chicken like I do, Put your raw chicken in here and put your ingredients on top of it and cook it in the crock pot. It's just going to take longer. You're going to need to let it cook maybe about six hours. But see, mine's going to be done in just a little while because my chicken's already done. All we're going to do is just get this gravy all hot and bubbly and the spices melted into the chicken. So mine's not going to take all that long. But here I go. Now the only thing I'm putting in now is my sauce mixture that I mixed up in front of y'all. All right. Yum, 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 yum. Look at that. See it? Woo wee. All right. Now I'm headed over to my crock pot to put this on. All I, I'm going to do is put it on, let it get uh, good and hot. I've got some girlfriends coming today for lunch, and I, I told them, I said, let's don't meet at, at a restaurant. Come on over to the house and let's just eat lunch. So I've got a crock pot of uh, mashed potatoes going. That's these things. Three and a half, four hours on high in the crock pot. Why the crock pot, Miss Joan? You're at home, you can cook them on the stove. Yeah, but I want to run all over the house doing a lot of other things. I don't have to worry about my kitchen. So here's my main dish of cooking. Here's one of my sides. And here's my other side I got ready, which is just green beans. This is going to be so good. You throw some rolls with this. You're going to have them. We love this lunch on Sunday. Put all this on, go on to church, come back, and oh my goodness, you got a wonderful meal already ready. So. If you've got your chicken already done, this might take like, oh, a half hour on high to get it good and bubbly and hot. And then if you don't, you need to just put it on, let it slow cook for about six hours. You have the same thing. Y'all, yeah, here it is. I'll show you a little shot inside the pot. I keep calling this crock pot. I think the official name is slow cooker. But anyway, and then here's the mashed potatoes that we're going to have for a side. Well, I just whipped them up and put them right back in the pot that I had them in. And then the green beans, and then we got some rolls. So I've already dipped out a plate here so you can see what it looks like, what we're fixing to eat. My two girlfriends from high school came today to eat lunch with us. Yeah, they weren't on the camera, but they didn't have 
<laughs> no choice. And then uh, this is what we're fixing to eat from out here at home with Miss Joan. Now I wanted to tell you girls and boys, I know I got a lot of men that's cooking. Remember that chicken that I showed you earlier in the video? Well, this is how much I got left. See, I got all this broth. Now all this chicken, and what I'm doing is I just put it in a bowl and I'm gonna freeze it and I'll have it for next time. I only used about four big chicken breasts in this dish right here. I enjoyed cooking for y'all today. I'll see you again from at home with Miss Jones.